So moving on. Battlefield 1 is sexist. Okay. No way. No way. Um, according to a former dice coder, female soldiers don't appear in Battlefield 1 multiplayer Wait. because boys find it unbelievable. <laughs> I can't remember the name of the coder. Let me just try to... F- Amandine, Amandine, a man, dine. <laughs> Triggered. <laughs> the name of the coder is a man, dine, Koget. Uh. Cool name, but <sighs> she's one of those SJWs, I guess. So basically, the the argument here is. Oh, that was a guy's name. Oh, uh, it's a it's a former dice coder. Um. She said it's because the project leads thought boys would find it wouldn't find it believable. So the argument here is should Battlefield Overwatch. 1 multiplayer have female soldiers because to keep it real? Like real real, like real World War One? Or should it just would be no female soldiers, right? Say again? If it's historically accurate, there'd be no female soldiers. Historically, for every like I don't know how many thousand, thirteen thousands male right, soldiers. Right. I'm sure that there's that's like literally one there are more than zero. But yeah, there's no zero. Yeah. There's not zero. Statistically, it's but close even to if zero. you play in a sixty-four by sixty-four multiplayer game in Battlefield One, I don't know how big the maps are. Even having one yeah. woman is historically inaccurate. Um, right. It seems that in R- Russian forces, there was a tank. I'm not sure what you call them. A sk- Tank school. I don't like. What do you call like a tank? Like a like a group of people. Swarm unit. I don't know. Tank unit. I I believe that's like a tank unit with like thirteen girls or something. Thirteen women. Okay. Um, Well, Russia was famous for their snipers. They had female snipers, which were kind of famous. Right. They were inactive after a year, and the uh, single player actually features a woman because she's actually very important to the story, which is cool. Um, but. The argument here is, uh, the the SJW is basically, but they are they were women in World War One, but the numbers are just so minuscule. Well, um, I don't know if this is relevant, but isn't uh the game on alternate history as well? Sorry, say that again. Isn't Battlefield One? Isn't it an alternate history? Is it? I thought it was supposed to be accurate. That's actually okay. a channel that focuses just on World War One stuff. Like re- just World War One stuff, and they said the mm. game is really accurate. Okay, cool. Which is pretty cool. So I'm not sure if I think they're going what for they should history. do. They should make your gender each time you die and respawn. It should randomize your gender based off of the statistical um, spread. So you have like a one in whatever chance of spawning as a female. I would, but mind. but that's a buttload of extra work for very little effect <laughs> yeah um, and there is a woman which is the main character that you play in the single player but basically um, do you guys do you know Rooster Thief mm-hmm. uh, do you know the show called The No they no have a show called The No okay and it's like Rooster Thief is like I don't really like them I just feel they're very I actually was subscribed to them at some point in time Ugh. but it was all crap so I stopped exactly <laughs> So, reason why I don't really like them is because I don't think they're funny. I don't think they make good content. They're the very one. SJW, and they are corporate shields. Like how we they... need to pause for one second. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, I'm back. I'm terribly sorry about that. That was hilariously racist. Okay, what? so so my wife is walking home right now, and so I thought she didn't have her house key. I had to open the door to let her in because someone was knocking at my door. I open the door. There's a Mexican guy there. He just goes, he immediately goes, oh, I'm sorry, man. I'm looking for people that speak Spanish. I'm like, I could speak Spanish. I don't, but <laughs> <laughs> I could. <laughs> What was that guy there for, though? I don't I mean, know. He obviously speaks English. He did. 
very yeah, no, no accent or anything. Um, Don't you look so into the peephole thing before you open the door? I assumed it was my wife. Oh. I should have. Uh, I should have used the peephole. You know, okay, we don't really have peepholes here mm. for some reason. I think because we don't have guns, we do, so we don't have really have. I know whatever. <laughs> but you have knives. I have knives, but I have knives as well. I can stab you. Um, okay. <laughs> um, I don't have a gun, so um, what was I saying? So we don't really have peepholes here. So whenever I watch yes. a movie, and then the mm. person look through the people, I always think, oh my gosh, she's gonna get shot in the eye. I actually don't know if I have a peephole in my door. Do you, look. do you have windows next to your doors? You There's a window them. right next to it, yeah. But the blinds, like, they can see through it as well. The advantage of a, the advantage of a peephole is that, in general, guys, people can't see through it into your house right. very easily. Right. Um, what were we talking about? Battlefield 1 is sexist. Right. Mm. Uh, so I was talking about Rooster Thief, the no, because they also reported on this. And they, for some reason, chose two women to report on this. And obviously, you know where they stand. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know. It's really funny. Do you, do you think they should have for, women in for, this? Well, I mean, the point... I, I'll get to that in a second. It's just funny that in when you're trying to make a story on a lack of diversity, and you do that, <laughs> and you right. choose two women to talk about it, it's like, what? Um, <laughs> I think... Do you think it matters because it's just a video game? Very funny, though. Yeah, that's a good point. The no. The no actually said, like, Bat- yes. Black Ops 3 had women. Like, Black Ops 3 is not Battlefield 1. <laughs> what has that got right, to do the, with anything? The historical accuracy thing is it's a, it's, it's the hang-up. Yeah. If they weren't trying to be historically accurate, they obviously should have women. Yeah, but I do think they are going for that. I do think yes. so. Right. But I don't think that the higher ups actually said, "But boys would have find it believable." Maybe they did. I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like game developers are very, very condescending. Probably. Is it just a programmer thing? Are you condescending? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it might be. I do know a lot of very terrible programmers. I mean, not and they program fine, but they're condescending. Um. I don't know. I don't know. It also might just be an effect of working in the service industry. <laughs> I feel like whenever you're close to a customer base, you encounter such a broad range of humanity, like that the the, the dregs really stand out. You just get sour towards humanity in general. And also the uh, former dice coder, the, a man, Dying Coke, <laughs> she said that the original BF1 pitch uh, given on stage was World War One with one caveat. Screw realism, we're adding female soldiers because we're way overdue. Overdue from what? The... So I'm hmm. not sure if it's true or not. I'm... I wonder, I don't, this is a little aside. I wonder how many armies in the world allow female soldiers in them and in what roles. Because I know it was a big deal. Like just this year, I believe, the American army started allowing uh, females into frontline positions. Because until recently, they were only allowed as, like, support positions. Mm. Hmm. I don't know, all this freaking diversity agendas and stuff. Like, I'm totally okay if it makes sense. Yeah. If they want to go I mean, with so like, ba- Battlefield accuracy. is a class-based shooter. Uh, like, you choose, a, like, I'm a demo man, I'm a sniper, I I'm a, a medic, so. I'm a warrior. Okay. I've played any of the uh, better, uh, but because like so, when yeah. it's when it's class based and historically accurate, like I'm, I'm I'm kind of okay with it all being the same. I feel like when it's when the game's more of an RPG is when I feel like you should probably cater more to to your players being able to create their av- customize their avatars a little better. Mm. But like TF2 has no females, right? Mm, no. I don't know that that's relevant, but I don't know. It's not. It's, I don't know. It's it's tough. I I right now I'm tentatively on the side of bat. I wouldn't say Battlefield One should have females. Um, I definitely wouldn't say it shouldn't have females, but I don't think, especially for the historically accurate path. Um, I don't think they have they have a obligation to add females. Right. A hard stand. <laughs> I'm just gonna say they should just go with the hysteric- historically accurate thing because 
If they don't go historically accurate, they will piss off the historians as well. Which is the bigger fan base? Probably the women. I'm not sure. Probably the women. But I've seen women commenting on it. They said that they don't want playable women in multiplayer. Hmm. Because it's just not historically accurate. Oh, well. Battlefield 1 is sexist, but nobody cares. People are going to buy it anyways. <laughs>